Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brian, if you're new around here. And in today's video, we're gonna do a little bit of a deep dive into the summoner changes from the media tour to Endwalker. And there's actually been some big significant changes. I believe I've got them categorized all here for you in this video. And we're gonna talk about the biggest change up front so you can get the information. If you don't wanna hear my thoughts on it, you just wanna know, hey, there, there's changes from the media tour. Uh, you guys can check the link in the description. Uh, Square Enix has got all the skills. Uh, they even got a nice little handy revisions tab over there. That way you can kind of see what's changed from the current game, not necessarily from the media tour, but I thought from media tour to these changes, what have we seen? What specific changes? So if you're looking for every skill, every skill in detail as to what's happening, I'll be putting out guides more when I get a chance to go hands on with it once N Walker is a fully released. So be sure to check back here on the channel and subscribe and all that stuff. We'll have a playlist for Final Fantasy content and specifically, specifically, N Walker content uh, in a playlist here for you. But one of the things I do want to just focus it on, uh, the uh, older videos still hold true. You can go see what most of the skills have not changed, but there's a couple of significant ones. And I think that's the best place to start. First and foremost, Summoner's gotten a lot faster. They've gotten a lot faster. And here's where it might come off as a bit concerning at first because you see that you only get 15 seconds of Muhammad Phoenix uh, of Dreadworm Trance. So you go from 20 seconds to 15 seconds across the board. But when you get into the pure Summoner rotation, things like Enkindle Phoenix, Revelation, uh, which obviously fires off the Revelation, you have, uh, <laughs> you've got Enkindle Muhammad, which does Akmorn. Uh, these uh, potencies have been doubled. So where you would be thinking from an Enkindled Bahamut, you know, where you'd get two of those in a typical Bahamut or two of the Enkindled Phoenixes during that rotation, that is now condensed to one. You'll only be able to get one of the Enkindles out of the gate uh, with uh, a rotation of various summons. Uh, the thing is, is that they've doubled the potency. So it's Honestly, A, it's faster and you're getting that potency right up front. So you're not going to use that again. And then you're going right back into it. So all in all, your time has been shortened. And so the joke that we were all having, uh, especially at, uh, you know, when they showed off the job action trailers is congrats on your 22 minute opener summoners. Uh, this appears that it's going to help kind of address that, get you more into that rotation overall. Uh, that's kind of the biggest change. You can see here the potency for Enkindle or, you know, any of the Enkindles going from 650 to 1300. So that's literally doubling. Uh, and obviously the uh, increasing of the area of effect range or the, the potency spread going from 50% to 60, that hasn't changed uh, from the media tour, but that potency increase and that time of the recast time has definitely changed. Before it was eight seconds on both of these. Now it is set to 20 seconds so that is not going to happen because again you only got 15 seconds so there's no way 20 seconds is ever going to find a way to double stack maybe we'll see something who knows uh later down the road but let's go ahead and cop talk about cop about a couple of uh changes in this case slipstream uh had its potency uh you know basically increased by instant extending the duration going from 12 seconds to 15 seconds so an extra tick there of slipstream you're going to have that access then with fountain of fire you're actually seeing an mp increase going from 200 to 300 ruin 4 is getting a big change here with an mp increase going from 200 to 400 uh that is a big jump for ruin 4 but no other changes uh with that ruin 3 is also getting a little bit faster cast time now ruin gets modified by and this is across the board with all the ruins we're seeing it drop to a 1.5 second uh, cast time. So you're going to have faster casts overall with Ruin, with the exception of Ruby, uh, a.k.a. Ifrit, a.k.a. when you got your fire, uh, you know, aspect. That is still going to be at 2.8 seconds. So that's going to be your slower cast time. It does drop to instant with Topaz and Emerald, with uh, Titan and, and with Garuda. So that is still uh, kind of having that effect overall. Uh, MP cost has also gone up by 100 for the various different ruins and their now augmented <laughs> uh, alterations. Fester and Pain Flare, we're seeing this also increase with a recast time of one second instead of three seconds. So that is a, again, like I said, the whole thing here for Summoner is that it's just getting faster, faster and faster. Ruin has its MP cost increased overall. And then you also see the, the cast time 
being about one and a half seconds. And that was pretty on par with what we saw at the uh, media tour. Now, one of the things I do see with cast time and recast time that we don't see that we that, like when we look at the notes specifically is I'm betting they're not taking in uh, gear uh, and uh, spell speed into that uh, that factor. So that way, I think that you could even still get that lower like at the uh, <laughs> at the media tour. Uh, Ruin had a cast time of 1.45 seconds, for example. So note that I think that gear and, and stats are going to augment it. This is just the base core numbered abilities as well. And then Carbuncle here is actually having a cast time of one and a half seconds. And then as you get into the summons themselves, they'll actually have instant uh, cast times. But that isn't a change overall from how it works. Like I said, Dreadworm Trance is also in that uh, in that pool going from 20 seconds to 15 seconds. So... I see potencies increasing to kind of offset the fact that you're not going to have to cast two of those, which shortens the overall rotation time for summoner, which just means that you're going to be doing your summons much faster because every time, uh, you know, you do Bahama, every time you're doing your rotation, your summons are coming back out. So it feels like summoner overall is just getting faster and faster. If you're looking for uh, more details about the various skills, uh, like each and every one, if you want to go just read that for yourself, again, the link is in the description. I want to put this together today. There's, a, <laughs> this is a lot of work, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Like just going through, comparing line by line, skill by skill, capturing these images. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, uh, hitting that like button is a great way uh, that helps the channel out. Uh, no pressure to do so, only if you feel like I earn it. And if you guys want me to do any more of these skill comparisons from the media tour uh, to Endwalker, uh, today's uh, a good day to do it because the game's offline. So let me know uh, in the comments and I'll see if I can get that on my schedule. Thanks guys for being here. Thanks for being awesome. I love you. I love you faces. Hopefully I'll see you in my next video, but until then, take care. Yes, Brian, teach me how to heal on a controller. Taking time to learn it feels awkward. I'm using your layout for buttons, so I'm looking forward to that video. Hey, he's back. Glad you're feeling better. Can't wait for your Sage Controller Guide in the future. <laughs> That's right, baby. That's right, baby.